this is how I became a speaker in all honesty. I was in Southern Utah University as a teenager. I was 15 years old, and I was in front of this thing. It was called SIFE, Students in Free Enterprise, and they were giving three prizes, a $500, a $1,000, and a $2,000 prize for the top rural young entrepreneurs. And so I gave a talk, made the judges laugh. My net income at the time was 600 and some dollars, by the way, when I was presenting. It was like five months into my business. And I won third place and got 500 bucks. And there's still this stupid little plaque at the Holiday Inn in, in Southern Utah with my name on it for taking third place. And I just, that's, I'm more proud of that than other awards. It's just funny, because I was 15. But then, you know, the next year I won $5,000 by doing that. And I was like, I could either wash cars or just talk for a little while. Right? So I had at least some raw ingredients for it, but it developed over time. So you've got raw ingredients in your life that you could develop even further. And if you could get crystal clear about what you claim your authority in and then find hot topics around that, there's a huge opportunity for you. There's a huge opportunity for you because now you can point in some direction and have a big effect on people. You can, have, you can impact a lot more people that way. It's kind of like... Hey, look, when I was in college, if I, wanted to, if I wanted to meet a girl, I always felt weird just walking up and just saying, hey, I'm Garrett, you know. I always liked to find someone who thought highly of me to make the introduction. And then I always started on a better ground. Same thing happens, you know. If you can claim your authority, then all of a sudden you can actually build other people up around you because anytime Oprah recommended a book, what happened? Anytime Dr. Oz recommended a supplement, what happened? You know, those are the really extreme examples, but this happens all of the time out there and it really drives the value of your business and it actually makes it where people don't expect for you to work with them one-on-one -on -one anymore. No one expects Dr. Oz to do the open heart surgery anymore but they would trust his opinion for the most part if he pointed towards someone's direction. It's a fundamental shift because a lot of you are trapped in being the one that everybody trusts, that they want to talk to, that they want to work with. You can elevate above that status when you claim your authority, put out content, and then build other people up.